How's it going guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to build this really awesome church. Now I've been working on this for quite a while so I'm very excited to show you guys. Uh, but just sit back and enjoy and I'll show you how to build every individual thing. And uh, yeah, it looks really cool so let's just get straight into it. Now here's a list of the items you're going to need. Obviously this isn't all of the items but this is just the main ones. Uh, the other things that will be in the video are pretty easy to collect so you can obviously get that. Now where it has like 1600 blocks for obviously the white concrete diorite and polished diorite, that's not 1600 each, that's just all together um, sort of evenly mixed. And then obviously with the glass panes and the wall you can choose whatever colours you want. Uh, these are just the colours that I used. But once you've got that we can start building. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is just mark out the rough dimensions. So on screen now is just the shape to start with, it's very very simple. Alright guys, so once you've laid out the dimensions, you're going to start bringing them up using some white concrete diorite and polished diorite. Now this will just be evenly mixed randomly throughout. Uh, so the, for the front tower, which is a 5x5 five five square, uh, you're going to bring this up 18 blocks. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Now you're just going to bring that all the way up on all sides, obviously. Once you've done that, you're going to bring up this back tower, which is obviously more of a circle shape, uh, and you're going to bring this up 19 blocks, so one higher than that. Finally, for the main part, which is obviously 15 by 21, uh, you're going to bring this up just nine blocks. So next up we're going to do the front entrance, so you're going to come to the front tower here and just one block up you're going to dig out a little hole three wide and it's going to be ten high. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten and then just dig all this out. Then you can place a floor in here just like that and then you're going to come up three blocks, oh sorry four and then you're going to come across just like that. And then bring that all the way to the top and go across like this. So then you want to get yourself some polished diorite stairs and some diorite and some regular diorite stairs and you're just going to randomly scatter them. You're going to put one either side like that and then same in this bit just here. And then we're going to remove that block and replace that with a stair and we're going to remove this block and place that, place a stair there. So then for the staircase we're just going to get some slabs and come across just like this. Uh, we can place blocks there uh, and obviously just scatter the slabs once again like that. Then you're going to come to the side and place three blocks just like this and also obviously place some other blocks in there like that again and then you're going to put stairs coming out just like this upside down like that and then you're going to cap it off with a slab on either side so now we're going to add some flower beds around the outside so if we just come to this corner here we're going to place three blocks coming off like this and then put it all the way across to there and then on this side we're going to come out three blocks again, or sorry just two this time uh, and then go all the way across just like this. So then we're going to place a slab on each of the corners and just one over in here as well. And then we're going to put stairs upside down coming across like this. Then you want to get some grass blocks, or just dirt obviously, uh, and then fill in these bits here. So then obviously do the exact same thing, but on the other side over here. 
So for this long edge, obviously you're not going to have the tower there, uh, but you don't want to go all the way along. You want to go 15 blocks, including this one. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Uh, and then just uh, cap it off in there like that. So then just get yourself a variety of flowers. Now the two high ones look really cool in this bit, so that's what I'm primarily going to be using. Uh, but feel free to mix it up with whatever flowers you want. Now we're just going to add a back door, so if we come to the corner here and count up five blocks, uh, and then come across four, on the fifth one, we're just going to take out two blocks like that, and we're going to place a door on the inside just like that. So we're also going to add a little staircase here, so get rid of these blocks here, and build this up uh, to there. And then we're just going to place a little floor here, and we're going to get some stairs, uh, and make them come down. We're going to do one more, and then we're going to come down like this. Just like that, and then fill in all of this, except except in next to the stairs, I should say. Uh, so just like that. And then also scatter these around a bit. So at the top, we're going to place a block on the corner, and then two over, and place another block. And then if we get just get some slabs... Uh, we'll place them in between like that, and then one there, and then on these bits here we're going to place upside down stairs facing outwards like that. Then you can get some iron bars and just place them on top of these blocks here, and then on top of the stairs as well, uh, just to add a little bit of decoration. You can also place a stair around there, and then on this side we're going to extend the, uh, the flower bed around, so if we just take out these two blocks, uh, replace them with grass, and then come all the way over to there. Uh, and then we're going to do the same thing that we did around here. Just like that on this corner, you're going to place the stairs facing outwards, like that. And then obviously fill in your garden with some of the flowers. So now if we come back to the front tower, we're just going to go up the top and we're going to add a little uh, thing at the top. I don't know what you'd call it, but uh, we're just going to be placing stairs uh, just like this, so one block in between all the way around. Just like that. And on the corners, we're going to place two blocks up like this, and on the middle ones, we're just going to do one. Then place a slab on the lower half of the block in between these. And finish it off by adding some diorite walls on the top of each of these. Now to add the roof on this back tower, we're going to come to each corner and place a upside down stair. And we're going to be rotating them around as we go like this. Then on the corners, we're going to place four blocks up. And then we're going to place four uh, walls in between. And then finally, just place stairs on each corner, upside down on the top, and then obviously regular way. Uh, on the bottom, so you get this sort of circular shape. And then just get some more slabs and some stairs and place a stair off of the wall, and then a slab either side on the top half of the block. So next up, just get yourself some spruce planks, stairs, and some fences, uh, and then we're just going to place a block on the outside all the way around here. Then we're going to add stairs going around just like this. So 
Then place a plank on each corner like this, just there. And then we're gonna do stairs facing towards that block on each side. And then place another stair facing inwards on all of them. Then on these ones, you're gonna place a stair and you're gonna be rotating it around just like we did for these bits under here. Then fill in these gaps by placing some spruce planks. And you're gonna place stairs on top of these like this. Then once again, fill in all of it with planks and then build it up a little bit more like that. And you're gonna do that all the way along the top like that. So then there's just some more stairs going around. And then same thing where we rotate them like that. It looks kind of weird. But then just fill in these blocks here and then place two blocks high like that. And then stairs. And then two more planks. And then cap it off with two fences just like that. Now if you want, you can also come to the underside of these bits and just place some trapdoors on the corners like that. Just to give it a bit more depth. So to do the main roof of the building, we're going to come to the corner here and place one block. And then we're just going to stagger this up on a diagonal straight like this all the way to the tower. Like that. And then you're going to leave three blocks in between and do the same thing here. Uh, but just leaving the block underneath there like that, if that makes sense. And you're going to bring it all the way to the top here. Like that. And then you're going to bring it all the way down to the other side. So then you're just going to make this shape uh, all the way along, leaving three blocks in between. All the way to the end there. And then on this side we're going to fill in the whole bit. So then you want to get your stairs uh, and just place upside down stairs on the sides of all of these blocks facing outwards. And you want to do that along the whole thing. Then just get some iron bars and place them on top of each of those upside down stairs. So next up we just have to add the spruce part of the roof. So if we come just one below uh, where this stair is sticking out and then we want to come across another one. Uh, and then we're just going to do the traditional roof technique where you go upside down uh, and regular way up on an angle just all the way to there. And then we're going to bring this all the way along. And we're essentially going to fill in, we're going to do this on all four sides and then we're going to fill in all the bits in between uh, with, with spruce pretty much. On the back part, we're just going to place a slab on the top.
So once you've filled in the whole roof with spruce stairs, we're going to come to the top uh, and place a slab either side and then a trapdoor in the middle just to add a little bit of curvature there. Next up, just come over to this side and wherever there is a diorite uh, thing in the middle, you want to place a upside down stair like that. Uh, and then in between, we just want to place um, well, we just want to place a trapdoor either side of that stair, essentially. And then do the same thing over here. And then the same thing all the way along this edge. So finally, we're just going to add some windows. Now, if we come to this bit here, uh, just knock that block out there and then bring it all the way to the top and then one either side just like that. So this is just going to be a little cross window uh, and then if we put a stair in the bottom, I'm actually going to do a regular diet, just put a stair in the bottom and that'll be a window. Then come to these sides and just one from the middle there you want to do, take out a block and then bring that all the way down to the floor and you're going to place a stair at the bottom and the top just like that. I'm going to do the same on this side. Now you have two more windows. Now to do the windows on the side, uh, you're just going to come two across here and then do a window here starting from the bottom. Uh, and it's going to be five high, just like that. And then you're going to leave one and then do the same thing. Leave one, another window, just like that all the way to the tower. And then just place a stair in the top and bottom of each of them. Then do the same thing on this side. Now just come up to this tower at the back here. Uh, and then one, leave one block there, and then you're going to cut out a hole six long. So that's four, five, six, and then a stair in the top and bottom. And do that on three sides. So this one here, just like that, and then also this side. Oh, there we go. So leave two blocks between the stair, and then cut another window six long again. And then finish it up with the stairs either side like that. Now for the color of the windows, you can use whatever color combination you want. I'm personally going to be using blue and light blue. And we're just going to alternate between these two colors uh, and just fill in all the windows, um, obviously alternating. Now on this side, I'm going to be alternating. So we're going to have two dark blue and then one blue and then two dark blue, one blue, obviously just like that. So we're just gonna add a little bit of support around the back. So we're gonna just place two blocks either side of this three and then one in the middle. Uh, we're going to place two there, actually we'll place one there, and then two here, uh, and then we'll do one either side like that, and then two, and just alternate all the way along here. And then you're just going to add a stair on top of each of these. I'm actually going to place a slab on this one instead of a stair. So it's now time to move on to the interior. So just come in here and just knock out this entire wall and also knock these corner pieces out here. So just this whole face pretty much all the way up to the roof. Uh, you can stop about there for the moment. We can work that out later. Um, but just removing this, we're going to start by placing the floor in. Uh, so the floor is going to start here. So there's just going to be one layer there and then you're just going to use spruce. Uh, you can use whatever you want, I think spruce looks the best, so I'm just going to place that at this, at this height uh, throughout the whole thing. So 
So next up, we're just going to place the door in. Uh, so just come to this spot here and just place uh, some dark oak trapdoors. Uh, we're going to be it's going to be four high by two on each side, and we're also going to place a door on this side, just making sure the handle is on that side there, and then same over here. Uh, so just build this up, and it looks like the door is sort of open. Obviously, you won't be able to close this door, but you know it's just there for looks anyway. So then just come to the corner here and place a pillar going all the way up. Uh, we're going to add sort of, we're going to sort of make the walls double thick here, but we're going to leave three uh, here just like this, and then we're going to fill in this bit uh, just up there. Uh, so then we're going to leave three blocks and do another pillar going up to the roof, and then obviously leave another three blocks and do the same thing. I'm going to do that all the way to here, so we're going to do that just like this as well. And then just do that same thing over on this side, obviously. Then you can also fill in these blocks up here, just underneath the roof like this. So then just get some stairs uh, and place them in the corners of each uh, section, just like this. And on the bottoms, we're going to do some upside down stairs on each side and then a slab in the middle, just to add sort of like a little, I suppose, bench sort of thing, you could say. I'm also going to remove this uh, from the tower just here for the moment as well. So next up, we're going to build the stage. Uh, so it's going to start on this second block here. Uh, and we're going to place two spruce things and then uh, just some stairs going across here. And on this side, we're gonna want two. Uh, that's because the stairs are gonna be going just like this to get up the stage. Now you can put the stairs on either side, doesn't really matter. You can also do both if you want, um, or none. Don't know why you do that, but you can if you want. Uh, so the stairs are gonna be there. And then just above these stairs, we're gonna place an upside down stair, uh, just to give the stage a little bit more detail. And then obviously we're just gonna fill in this back section uh, with spruce planks. So next up, you're going to create the same sort of shape we have here, but just over this door here. So we're going to build up a pillar here and here, leaving one block in between the door. Uh, and we're going to bring that all the way up to the roof here, just like this, and then place some stairs in uh, the same thing, just like that. Also do the same thing for the tower. So just continue this line across like this, and then the stairs go in like that. Now for the stairs, you can also place trapdoors just next to it, uh, just sort of like a little railing thing. Just adds a bit of detail, it looks pretty cool. Now to create the roof, it's going to be sort of a smooth shape, not going to be as pointy as it is now. Uh, so just place in uh, one line of blocks like that, and then you're going to do two blocks, this one. And then on the top, we're going to fill it all the way across, which should be five blocks. And then it's going to be two again, and then the one. So that's the sort of shape, and you're just going to make this go all the way along the entire roof. So now we're going to add some support on the roof, so just get yourself some strips, spruce logs and some stairs. Uh, and just above this pillar here, one from the side, we're going to place a stair, and then a spruce log, and then another stair, another spruce log, and a stair. And we're going to break that block out there and place a log, and then do the same thing on this side to join it up. Just like that, and we're going to do the same thing uh, for this one and for here as well. Now we're going to place a chandelier on each one of these, so just starting in the middle with some dark oak fences, we're going to bring it down four uh, blocks just like that, and then on the third one, we're going to place another one each side, and then just put a lantern on each of these five points there, and just do the same thing for this one and there as well. Now we're also going to place some lanterns in each one of these arcs here. So we're going to place a fence and then a lantern hanging off that. And just do that on all of them. 
uh, including these two up on the stage. Now to do the seats, just get some dark oak stairs and some signs. Uh, now starting one uh, from the back here, we're going to place four across and then leave a gap and then another four. I'm going to do that all the way up until uh, this spot just here in front of the stage. And then do the same on this side, except we're going to have one less in front of the stairs. So we're going to have it here. Uh, and we're not going to put one there for obvious reasons. Then just place a sign on each side of these. Next up, we're going to add a carpet going down the middle. So just get yourself some red wool and some red carpet. Uh, and then underneath here, we're going to need to place two uh, red wool. And then obviously we need to replace the doors. Um, just like that, but then also just scatter some carpet around wherever you can. Obviously you won't be able to put it underneath the fences, so that's where we're going to put uh, the the wall in the ground. And then also just curve the rug over towards uh, the staircase over here and just sort of make it a little bit random. It always looks kind of good. Uh, and then just fill in the other spots with the wool. Next up we're going to get some composters and place one here with a few leaves. Uh, just sticking out. You can use whatever leaves you want. Uh, I'm actually just going to put two there. And then we're also going to put another one here and another one. Actually, sorry, it's going to be here. It's going to be one from the back uh, and just place some leaves in like that. So now we're just going to add a cross up on the stage. So just leave one block at the top and then break that block and then do that shape there and just fill that in with glass blocks uh, and you can do whatever color you want obviously I'm just picking blue because that's what I did for the other windows and then in front of that we're gonna place a stone brick wall just like that so now we're gonna create a little shape around it so if we put a slab at the top and then some stairs coming down uh, also actually need to grab some of these uh, we're gonna place stair either side then blocks and then another stair and then blocks coming all the way down to here and we're actually going to do an upside down stair and then slabs coming across and then another upside down stair and then obviously repeating the same pattern with stair in the corner just like that and we're going to fill in most of the wall around it we're actually going to create a little shelf underneath here as well so if we place blocks underneath each of those stairs and then some regular facing stairs like that and then we're gonna leave that section in there. So just fill in the rest of the wall. Now instead of these slabs going across, we're actually gonna place iron trapdoors because uh, that looks a little better in my opinion. So now I'll just get some flower pots and a large variety of different flowers. I'm gonna just scatter some pots all around here. I'm gonna place two either side there. Uh, we're also gonna put some around here in front of the windows and just wherever you want, just add them. Uh, and it should look good. I'm also going to place a lantern on the block here just so it lights up the cross which looks pretty cool especially at night time. Now to finish off the stage we're going to place a lectern right up the front there and we're also going to place a little piano at the back here. So if we just place two looms uh, facing this direction and then put a sign on the front, dark oak uh, looks best but you can use whatever you want really uh, then we're going to have a stair facing outwards like that then two stairs up here oh so we're going to place two blocks there sorry and then two stairs and then two upside down stairs sticking out and there we have a little piano you can also place some carpet up on stage you can do whatever you want uh, i think it looks pretty cool like this so i'm just going to scatter these around just a bit like that now that is it for this main room, uh, you can obviously add more if you want. Something that does look pretty good is if you just scatter some paintings around, uh, especially up on stage there, or if, if you're in like a castle for example and you want like a, a banner, you can do that as well up on stage, there's a bunch of stuff you can do, uh, but this is how I'm going to leave it for the moment. So now we're just going to come to the front tower uh, and do some stuff here. So we're going to start off by placing some spruce trapdoors uh, just on the top half of this block here. Uh, as like a little platform and then we're going to place a ladder going up now it is a bit difficult uh, to get like a staircase or any way really to get up this tower but this is the best way that I found uh, so if you guys don't like it feel free to experiment and try to find another way to get up there I mean if you're not going to use it you can pretty much just close it off you don't actually need to have anything in this tower uh, but I thought I might as well use the space so we're going to put a ladder there and then just up here we can place some barrels and stuff uh, that's how I always fill in space if you ever don't know what to put somewhere just chuck some barrels down pretty much 
Now I have a data pack that lets you place ladders like that, uh, which is really cool to have floating ladders, and then it works from this side. Uh, so that is a data pack. I'll have a link to the download in the description if you want to use that. So now we're going to place a floor in just here, leaving a space for the ladder, obviously. Uh, and we're also going to fill in this section here. Uh, we, you can then place uh, two stairs either side just to round that off a bit. Uh, and then we're going to place one final roof, obviously, uh, for the top section. Oop, did not mean to do that. So now obviously just continue this ladder all the way up to the top. Uh, and once again in here, I'm just going to place some barrels and chests and things because that's the best way to fill up space I don't know if it makes a lot of sense to have it in here, but it's what I'm going to do anyway, so let's just do that Now I'm also going to get some carpet and just place that in in there as well Then get yourself a lantern and place that on the ceiling in here This also lights up the cross at night time from out the front, so that looks very cool now if we come to the top uh, Once again not much to do here, so you know barrel it up. That's what I always do now if you want to add a flag, this is a good spot to do so. You can just place a wall and then obviously some fences or whatever. I don't think it makes heaps of sense to have flags on a church, but if you want to do that, uh, it does look pretty cool, so feel free. So I'm just going to scatter some barrels and chests around, just like that, uh, and that'll be the top tower done. Now finally, all we have to do is this final tower. Uh, so I'm going to place another plant pot just there with one leaf above it. And then we're going to start the stairs here, uh, coming two away from the wall. Place two up like that, and then a upside down underneath. And an upside down facing outwards like that. And we're going to continue that up to there. Once again with another upside down. This is very repetitive, uh, but we're going to go just like that. And then we remove that one. No, uh, we'll have to come this way. Um, and just continue this all the way up, just like this. So once you get to the top, just place in a floor of spruce trapdoors because I think that looks the best. Uh, and we'll just have it like that. And then once again, you know what happens, we're going to place some barrels and some chests. Now to do the ceiling, just place a block above each of these walls here and then also a block in each of the corners just like this. Leaving a little cross at the top there. And then fill in that with blocks, uh, one higher. Uh, and then just place a stair in each of these, um, giving a little bit of a rounded top. Now up here we're actually going to create a little bell tower and we're going to have, using a lead, we're going to create like sort of a rope uh, attached to the bell. So if we just place a fence, uh, a spruce fence in the middle here, then we can come around up to the roof. Uh, we're going to destroy a little bit here uh, and just where there's this hole, um, we're going to essentially just place a cow in there. Now, you can use other animals, obviously. A cow is the best because he's not going to move from side to side. Like, if you use a chicken, uh, he's going to move and the rope isn't really going to be lined up properly. But if you use a cow, you can just attach a lead to him and then come down here and attach it to that fence. And you're going to have the rope uh, going up into the ceiling. So then just fill in the roof again. And then come in here and you can just put a chain with a bell underneath. And it's sort of going to look like the rope is attached to that bell. And finally, to light up this, I'm just going to place four lanterns on either side, like that. Now, I've just finished up the build by adding some trees around it and also making a little path going around with just some gravel. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Once you've done that, you've finished the church. It looks so cool in my opinion. I hope you guys like it as well. If you do, remember to leave a like down below and also subscribe. Uh, and I'll be making heaps more building tutorials and stuff like this in the future. And uh, yes, yeah, so that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.